Hi there, I'm Chef John with Spirit Foods. I'm here to talk to you about lobster again. Today we're gonna feature two different ways to prepare them. We have a simple steamed method that's just lightly salted water, takes about seven minutes per pound. And then we have a court bouillon method. If you've never heard about that, that's a fortified stock. It takes a little bit longer to cook the lobster, but it imparts a little bit more flavor as well. All right, let's cook some lobsters. First off, I'll show you how I personally like to humanely take care of a lobster. I always start off by putting them in the freezer for about 10 minutes. That really calms them down and puts them to sleep. And for the steaming method, we like to take a stainless steel colander if you don't have a steaming basket, and you can place it in the bottom of one of these and it'll protect that lobster from the shell from being roasted to the bottom of the pan. This plus a quart of water and two tablespoons of salt are all that you need to steam a lobster. So we've got the lobsters nice and cooled down, nice and comfortable. Next, we'll turn and go to our steamer pot here. I've got about a quart of water in here with two tablespoons of, of salt. Next, we'll just take very simply the lobster, put it in here, we'll cover it and dial it up in about seven minutes per pound. This lobster is going to be absolutely gorgeous. Next up, I'll get the court bouillon rolling. Court bouillon is a French term meaning a fortified stock. I start off with a good Chardonnay, some lemon, leeks, and Old Bay. The trick is, is to get it rolling, to get it boiling, to allow all of those ingredients to marry themselves together. I never go stingy with the white wine when you're talking with lobster. You really want to impart a lot of flavor into there. The steaming method will concentrate those flavors because they won't be diluted by anything else. So this is personally my favorite way to do it at home. It's just a quick steamable method. So we have our wine in there. We'll clean up these leeks. We'll cut them into some larger pieces, about two inch strips and then they'll go right into the water. Then we'll take a, a lemon, have that, squeeze it in there, and drop it right in. We're going to allow this to boil for about 12 minutes until all the vegetables soften right up. You can either use a Zatarain's crab boil, my favorite's in Old Bay. Um, and again, don't be, don't be shy with it, about two good tablespoons for two quarts of water. Okay, our steamer's been there for about seven minutes. It should be just about perfect. You gotta be really careful when you remove that top that you don't get a face full of steam. So very gently, grab it around its body. It's always good to have a heavy bottom pan. I never submerge my lobster back into water because that really dilutes the flavor. Um, so we're just going to, you can either put it on a bed of ice or you can just naturally let it carry over cook. It'll carry over for about another 10 to 15%. So just let that steamer kind of hang out. Next, we can move on to the court bouillon method. Um, that's pretty similar, but again, we go head first, claws first in. Let's make sure that our lobster gets dispatched as quickly as possible. And I always like to recover it. You want to return that water to a boil as fast as possible. In fact, you only start your timer when that water returns to a boil. A pound and a quarter or a two pound lobster will really break, will really bring down the water temperature. So our lobster should be perfectly boiled by now. We'll start off by removing the top. Go ahead and turn the water right off. We'll reach for our tongs and our heavy duty pan. And again, be careful. If you drop this lobster back in the water, it will splash back up. Start off by getting out our seasoning bag. And again, this has lemons and leeks in there, so there's a lot of fragrance. I'll pull this guy out. And then how does that look? Unbelievable. So those are the two easiest, best ways that you could possibly cook a lobster. I think next we'll show you how we break them down and how to easily access. So first off I'll show you is our steamed lobster. So it's nice and cool to the touch now, so nobody's going to get burned. I like to start off by removing the tail first. So you grab it firmly around the head and the thorax and you kind of break it and then break it and pull straight out. Be careful because there might be some extra liquid left in the head. Next I grab the front claws, 
to break everything out. And then these legs will just kind of come right with it. We can save those for later. You can make stocks, bisques out of them, everything. So next up, I'll show you. That's how we'll split this tail in two. Start off with a good French knife. You're gonna do about a 45 degree angle. Put your hand flat on top of the blade and go straight down. This is a very simple, easy method. You can bring it over to a sink and continue to clean it out further. Or if you don't mind the tamale, it can go right on the plate just like this. These claws are a little bit, a little bit tougher than the, than the tail to dispatch. So I always start off by taking the knuckles, putting those aside, take the back of your French knife and just give it one good crack on either claw. As you can see, it's not the easiest process. And then I'll take that similar to the tail and you crack it back and forth and you can present those as well right on the plate. This makes it much more user friendly. And then with these, treat it again, the same as the tail piece. You start off a 45 degree angle, get your knife set and then straight down. Cut it in half, present them just like that. With a steam lobster, I always like to serve drawn butter with it. That's my favorite way to do it. I use a good Kerrygold Irish butter. And then just bring it to the drawn stage. And present it just like this. So that has to be the easiest, quickest way to cook a lobster. Next up, we have our court bouillon method, which is a little bit more involved. So, but same basic principles. Be careful, this one might have a little bit more water in it just because we submerged it, we fully submerged it. So lay the tail flat, that helps a little bit of that to drain out. Break it, as you can see a lot of that liquid coming out. Do the front claws. And then again, we'll just stand him up that time. So the tail, straight down. Claws again. One good crack. You can also, if you have an extra side towel, cover these in a side towel. If you, I would suggest doing this outside on a deck or a, pet, a picnic table. But if you love lobster, this is a great technique. So you break them, and then you can take a disposable pan or any sort of earthenware, earthenware container. Get rid of that extra tamale. And then I take this hot court bouillon and I'll actually ladle it back over this lobster. And that way, when you can clean four or five of them at a time, this is a great way to keep it hot as you can all enjoy, maybe out on your deck, you know, or out on your boat or something. But you ladle about three quarts of the court bouillon back in. And that'll further season this meat as well because you've cracked the shell. And then I always serve my with fresh lemon. Squeeze on the side. And there you have it. That is Lobster 101, the two easiest, simplest ways to prepare lobster.